Ah, nothing like having a brand new library built into your house. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of our Let's Play. Look, oh, God. Rest in peace. Look at this. Oh, it feels so good having this much gunpowder. You have no idea. Oh, rest in peace. What's it like up there? Probably not safe. What am I doing? Oh! Okay, I'm going. Ring a ding ding. All right, so, um, no specific thing we're doing today. I want this to be one of them episodes where I do anything and everything, including trying to find another ancient city because we still don't have something. What is that you ask? We don't have, uh, okay, so we do have, uh, there it is, ancient shards. We need one more, oh, I mean echo shard. What does that make again? Oh, compass. So we need one more of these, and we also need to find those CD fragments to make the new CD. Come in, Sniffles. But before I do any of that, uh, I've been working in the library, of course. Small details, like I said I would. Um, it's still far from done, but I'll show you. Uh, Mr. Brainbauer's still here. Oh, but look at that. So I mixed in a lot more looms. I have every barrel in here now. There's efficiency, and I have them somewhat random. Here's Riptide, here's Fortune. I mixed in some bamboo scaffolding in as well. Made a lot of areas like this. Got some seating areas. I'm still messing with the enchantment setup. And if we go on upstairs here, uh, this is more of the armor level. Around the sides, I have random stuff like flame, but all in here, these inner bookshelves and these walls are all armor stuff, which is kind of handy. It just organizes it a bit. But let me tell you, I am so in love with this build, so we're probably going to mess around with this too, but not right off the bat. I want to see if we can locate another ancient city. This might take a while. Let me get myself prepared. How's our potions looking? Okay, we need night vision. Did I make any? Oh my. How did I not? What? How did I not make any night vision? I'm not going to lie. I just now realized that we made this down here um and it's definitely not staying i know we spent a long time renovating this but this does not fit in this world i know the ceiling could look better i was trying to go for the batman ceiling that's why it's all one solid light but it just doesn't fit the theme down here you know what i want to get a lot done today so i should probably stop talking and get my stuff done okay i need some night vision i believe i have everything ready for a trip actually that is not true i think i do and then i will eventually find out that i don't but that's okay we're gonna to try to kill two birds with one stone. And what I mean by that is finding another deep dark and also getting an achievement. If you take a strider for a long ride on a lava lake in the overworld, I'm, I guess that means this world. I always thought overworld meant nether because this is the world and then putting over in front of that makes me think of the nether. Overworld, I, I don't know. But we are going to try to get make the meadows come alive with the sound of music from a jukebox. So we're going to most likely go to new terrain, so we'll take this and cat i have also learned that ancient cities don't only spawn under huge mountains they spawn under big hills too like low erosion areas with no rivers we went that way last time for the ancient city which we did find but this time we're gonna go this way i'll see you guys in a bit or like one second huh <laughs> birch forest there's a torch here it's interesting why did I do that? See, this happens so much in this world. Look at this. This is, I guess, trying to make an ocean but generate new land at the same time. There's a freaking ship right here. This is kind of cool, though. It makes it look like this used to be an ocean. Hello. Feathers? I don't want that. Give me something good. Okay, never mind. Check out this hill. Ooh. Oh, look at those layers. Oh, I like that. Whoa. Whoa! And the village too. Is this a meadow? Is this a meadow? I guess there's only one way to find out. Look at all these. <gasps> I am told. Oh my lord! I just now realized. One die I always need is light gray. Holy smokes! I'm getting loaded on light gray. Whoa. Okay. Well, I think we found our location to look for this next. Have I been here? I've been here. I have been here. Let's give you light gray too. Oh my god! Yes. Give it all. That cave looks inviting. Uh, let's go there. Well, I'm instantly going to make this easy for myself. And I brought, of course... Wait, was that the meadows? I didn't check. Oh, 
Oh, I got it. Sound of Music. Make the meadows come alive with the sound of music from a jukebox. Achievement time complete. Now let's jump in this hole. Oh, this is a so OP. Oh, look at this. Should I even use this? Yeah, yeah, it would be really hard if I didn't. All right, I need to get low, real low. Oh, here's low. Whoa. Wait, is this not a fortune? Oh, dang it. Look at that, there's a lily of the valley down there. And take a look at this. I just snorted. I've been getting bad about that recently. I don't know why I snort. It just came out of nowhere, I swear. You know what? I'm... Oh, I didn't bring my chest plate. No, I was going to try to... Oh, well. Also, we need to make some swift sneak boots. Okay, I'm going to look around, see what I can find. Oh. I ain't going to lie, I found this way faster than I thought I would. This is too easy. Way too easy. <laughs> Look, I just found it. That fast. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, heck yeah. Never been touched or generated. Ooh, this is gonna be rough. I hope I don't spawn them. All right, let's get to looting. Oh, oh God, this is huge. Whoa, whoa, it's way, whoa, this is really big. She said. Okay, to keep track of what I've looted, I'm gonna pick up every chest. Oh, look at the ceiling. What do we got? Oh, yes! Oh, look at all this goodies. Oh, there was two of them. And we can make the compass now. Oh my gosh. I'm starting to think that these weren't added when we found ours, because we didn't find one of these in that place. This is just a warning, right? I slurped on some juice and it triggered it. Oh, hello. Oh my gosh. Well, we can go ahead and make one. That's cool. Just because I can, we're gonna do it right now. Oh, we could listen to it too. Music desk. Samuel Ad Aberg, five. We'll wait until we get home to listen to it. Oh God. Why are so many shriekers? Oh no. Oh, there's two chests too? Why would you do that to me? There's literally no way around that, is there? If I break that one, it'll tr Wait. Oh no, no, there's more cinches right there. I can't break anything here. Oh, look at all these precious candles. Give them to me. Oh! Careful, Dallas. Swift Sneak 3. I so want to throw those on my boots right now, but I can't. Well, I mean, I could probably. Imagine me coming down here and exploring it like this. Look at that right there. Oh my lord, I love that. It's so scary. No! Dang it, the water messed me up. Just give me the stuff. So touch, nice, nice. I don't know how many tries it actually takes. So I think the third time you <laughs> ignite one of those, you might spawn. Whoa. That's gonna go in the box of shame. Oh, I still have so much to loot. You know what? I'm not afraid anymore. Hey! I'm not afraid anymore! I have elytra wings. I can see. If I spawn them, I will fly away. Simple as that. Let's get this. Give it all. Give it to me. Oh, gosh. Lots of mending. And would you look at that? Oh, man. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid anymore! Get away! Get away! Get away! Give me the loot! I just want the loot! That's all I want! I'll leave you alone! Okay, he's coming. Oh, we're good! That was, that was surprising. Oh, oh, God! Oh. Oh, this one looks bad. Oh. oh, look at that. Four chests within my sight. It's just that there's so much stuff in these chests. Uh-oh. Okay, fine. Don't even give me a chance to talk. Ooh, that's cool. That is too dark. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> oh, I can't see anything. Oh, it's lava. Ah, it's another one with full of these shriekers, but I want the loot. Oh my god, why is there so many? I wasn't fast enough. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Can't catch me, I can fly. Oh, there's two of them. I forgot there could be two. Dang it. Oh, yeah. That's kind of cute. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. What on earth did he just do? Oh, my God. He almost obliterated me. I would have spawned back at home. Never call the warden cute. All I want is this loot and then I'm out of here. Oh wait, I think we're good. No! You son of a gun, I hate you! <laughs> Shot him. Third or fourth time's a charm, right? Okay, they're all gone. What was I fighting for? This loot? Great, oh yeah, that was worth it. <laughs> I was almost on the verge of leaving, and then look at this chest. A notch apple? Are you kidding? Oh, that's awesome. Whoa, those are good leggings. Oh! Two notch apples in one chest? Oh my god, look at that book. Oh, mending. Oh my god! Is that better than this? No. Same, basically. Oh, hello. Oh my god, it just doesn't end. Oh my lord. I, I have to get out of here. Look at this. We are full up. Maybe I condense this some, but... Ah, uh, there's some stuff I don't need to take like that. Okay. Made it out in one piece from this cave, and I popped out at a pretty cool area. Looky here. Pretty cool area, but we gotta get back home. We made it home. We made it home with a lot of good loot. Look at this. Look at all those white candles. We got five skeleton skulls. Look at all these pants. Three notch apples. 18, is that 18? 18 bottles of enchanting. Diamond horse armor, potions of regeneration, CDs. All these normal candles, more pants. 27 disc fragments, 28 echo shards. We got this. We're about to find out what this sounds like. Never heard it before. Ooh. It's like, it's like the broken black CD. Oh, it's like another mystery CD. I like these. Sounds like he's walking in the ancient city. Oh gosh. Oh, oh God. Oh. Whoa, I actually like this. Whoa, I really like this. No, 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 I liked that. Oh, he did. What the heck? Is this the Matrix? Okay, well that was interesting. I don't know why they keep adding stuff like that. I was actually enjoying the song part of that, but I guess they really like these just mystery CDs. Now we can create, no, I don't, oh, we can make three more of those. Do I need that for a recovery compass? I do. Where does it point? Where is it pointing? If I remember correctly, I last died over here to a charged creeper. Yep, that's kind of crazy. Right here. So, you know what that means. I know exactly where to put this, and that is... Ah, oh, dang it. Right in here. Oh. Yeah, so, when we come in here to get our stuff... I might have to add another one of these dispensers. Well, I'll find a way to put it in there, but that's a good place for it. And our CD collection is complete once again. 
So I did want to work on stuff when I got back home, but we spent a lot of time over there. Uh, we'll just save that for next episode. These are all the things we got, by the way. Oh, need to return that back down there. Lots of armored stuff. There's curses and... Oh! Okay, I'm going to talk about that here in a little bit. What to do with the curse stuff. Mending stuff. All those potions. And, oh, I need to take this down to the library. From Rocco Paco. Hi, Dallas. Will you ever update your editing style to appeal to new audiences? Interesting. Um, I thought this was a kind of a weird question. I've had this asked before as well. And uh, what is there to update? <laughs> you see, one thing I really like about my editing style is that it's fast and punchy and to the point. I edit out all the boring stuff. Sometimes I'll leave in some building um, because you need that every once in a while. I don't know exactly what you mean by appeal to new audiences. Was that a mending book? Oh, no. But if you mean by editing in stuff like like and subscribe or hit the notification bell, follow me on my Instagram, or stuff like that, or I don't know exactly what you mean, but I notice everyone does that nowadays, and I hate that stuff. <laughs> I hate stuff just flooding on the screen trying to remind people what to do. If they like the video, they're going to like it. At least I do. I know sometimes people forget and you need to remind them, but that's just my editing style. But if you can elaborate what you mean by update it to whatever today's standards is, let me know because I like the way I edit now. But anyway, the library here, a lot of you suggested this and this is what I was going to do. And that is, I'm going to turn this section up here into, I guess, the secret part. So the idea is you're going to be able to see it from down here, like, oh, the library expands up there. But I want to try to find a way to make it to where there's not an obvious way to get up. So I'm going to get rid of this staircase and I'd like to find some way to make a secret entrance. And it's gonna be somewhat hard because I don't have a lot of room to work with. But what we're gonna put up here is all of our cursed enchants and uh, many other things that would be fitting in the secret part of the library. I'm gonna work more on that in between episodes. Let's head over to the donation area because we got quite a bit. I like today's episode. I know it's just adventuring, but we I like to dedicate a whole episode to adventuring every once in a while. But thank you to Tristan Thabius, Thab Thabwis. <laughs> Santeri Kaisanen, Santeri Kaisanen, Julian Faragiero. Wow, these are some cool names. Mason Parker with a massive donation. Colson Smith with a massive donation. Johannes Lenner and Michael Lasky. And Colson Smith made it up on the donation wall. And he also made it into the villager book. He will eventually become a villager in my world. I think I'm just so picky to the point, I don't want to just start throwing them everywhere randomly. I want them to feel like they're a part of this world, give them a very important job. So that's why I'm kind of taking my time with naming some of these villagers. Thank you everyone for watching today's episode. I'll see you in the next one.